All right, there are a few messages that have come through and a lot of people do need our help, but I think we're going to focus on the first one, which says, mm -hmm. hi ladies, you look so perfect. My name is Tasha. Hi, Tasha, mm -hmm. a silent fan from Kericho. I have two kids, one is six years old and another is two years old and I work, hence having to employ a house help. My hubby is the one who pays for her, including other bills, because I'm studying part time. So I pay for my own studies mm -hmm. two months ago. I noticed my hubby has increased has, had increased her salary um, by 3,000 Kenya shillings and hadn't told me about it, and I felt disrespected. I asked him why, and he told me um, I'm overreacting, and it's none of my it's a non-issue. Uh, was I wrong to feel disrespected? I feel uh, he had to tell me about it, and it's not that I couldn't. That it's not that I could have refused, but was I wrong? I think this is kind of tricky, and oftentimes, uh, this 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 is the one thing that I just generally, as a woman, take up this responsibility. Yeah, it gets really tricky, because the way these cleaning ladies, these dadas, usually talk to your husband is so different from the way you guys interact. True, it's very very different. I swear, when we changed the responsibility from my partner being the one to pay for the cleaning lady to me having to be the one clean, uh, taking care of that, you could even tell the conversations completely changed. Mm. Because it would be, there was a small emergency here, please boss me to me. Small emergency here, please boss me to me. She and I, we only met one day and one day only. The day she's coming to do her duties, I pay her and we're done. She would never call me about any extra bills. She would never request me for small favors here and there. It just made all our lives easy. One, because my partner doesn't have to deal with all the send me small cash here, there, here, there, here, there, because they always send. And I then manage that. And so it's something that's off his plate. So ultimately, I think the easiest thing to do is you should be the one sorting it out. And even if it's your partner paying for it, it's okay. I think just create a buffer for me it's just easier to create a buffer mm. and yes i understand you will feel disrespected because again if you're the one who's employed her ultimately you're supposed to be part of the decision making process and in this case you're not part of the decision making process so it starts to make your mind wander on how many other things has he made decisions without my knowing how many other things has he decided without having told me in advance mm. this is it's, it it's, it's a no violation. Space. Yeah, it's a violation of trust, especially if it's your husband. It's a violation of trust for me because we're supposed to discuss these things. Finances are finances. They affect both you and I, mm. right? So we need to discuss these things before we go forward. Mm. So I completely understand the disrespect. And I think moving on, my recommendation would be you take up the, the responsibility. Yeah. Even if it's just a thing of there's a pool of money we have this goes to this this goes to this you should be the one designated to making the household payments mm. don't 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 make it your husband's responsibility because they always take advantage and trust me when i say it's not just your household it's no it's a normal thing mm. uh, uh domestic uh sorry house managers will always take advantage of someone if they feel like they can mm. yeah um, I feel like a hundred percent he should have asked you. He really you. should have. Because how does he even know how, you know, house helps and house managers are paid, you know? Yeah. You came up, you negotiated with this babe, you yep. know, you came up with this is going to be your salary yep. and that was that. Mm. So there's a whole conversation that happened, that without happened you. and you are not privy to. Yep. So that's where it's, you know, the, like, did she approach him? Did he, it's. It's, it's a lot. Yeah, to, it's a lot. It's just, yeah, it's a lot. It feels like these two adults are conspiring against, against you, you in, in your, your own household. household. Because you wait for me to go to school to have this conversation. You, you know? know, if you wanted a raise, you would come to, to me, me and say, listen, Mama Nani, uh, things are not, the math is not mathing. Please, do, could you maybe add? You know, but to go straight to my husband, ah, it just feels and ask for an increase of salary, and you know, he's going not to say mention yes. it. He's going to say yes, and then he does not say yes and just adds automatically without consulting yeah. me. Mm -hmm. Ah, that would be problematic. It, it feels very underhanded. It, it could literally be there's nothing going on, but ah. the mere fact that he made this financial decision it puts you in such a weird place. Without consulting you, yeah. So now she can just directly go to him for everything. And then it's just, it's just such an awkward space to be in. Yes, I feel like it happened to me. I'd feel disrespected too. Mm. 
And I would definitely make it very clear that, you know what, going forward, we have this pool of money mm -hmm. and I designate where the money goes. You have to put your foot down, babe. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. So that's that. I hope we helped you out because that is such... Whew, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry so you're awkward. going through that. <laughs>